inside the track with Roger Penske, the man behind the success of the Detroit Grand Prix, to get his impression of the track and the direction our whole region's headed. This is where it all started for Roger Penske, behind the wheel of a fast car. I love getting behind the wheel, but, you know, today I, I have drivers who obviously do a better job than I do from a driving perspective. Now Penske is a billionaire with his hands on the wheel of a global racing, automotive, and trucking empire. But right now his focus is entirely on the Detroit Belle Isle Grand Prix. Well, this is great. What do you think of the track? The track is great. You see these are the chalets here and the do the turns here in the mid part of the course. As he has every year since bringing the Grand Prix back to Detroit in 2007, Penske has raised the bar again. More grandstands, better views, better access to the cars and drivers, and more races. You're going to have the duels in Detroit uh, sponsored by Quicken. We're going to have the Tudor Sports Car Series, the Pirelli Series, which will have the Cadillacs and the Camaros. And then we got the stadium off-road trucks, which are going to jump through the air down the front straightaway. So that's going to be exciting. The young kids love that. One of the biggest changes this year is Belle Isle itself. Penske tells me he had a great relationship with the city of Detroit, but it'll be even better with the state of Michigan running the island. As the states come in, they've got the capital. They understand how to run a park. And I think safe and secure is important to me as it is to the citizens in Detroit. And they're providing that. And as Penske drives me around the track, his hands are firmly on the wheel, but he's already looking down the road. He says before next year's race, the state is planning to upgrade the sewer system and repave the roads on Belle Isle. You know, this is about uh, Detroit and about an event that showcases the city. Yeah, it's great. And then also he announced, of course, that they've got a two-year extension now in the deal with Chevrolet to keep this coming for another two years. Which is great. How fast were you going with him? Uh, he, he wouldn't. He gunned it one time. Okay. And, uh, and we pushed it pretty hard. But he said, you know, hey, they're stopping speeders <laughs> on the island. So.